Thanksgiving release, so it's been out for five weeks. It's made $104 million. It's another family movie. So you'd say it's a grower, not a shower. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I usually say about family movies. We usually say about family films, it's a grower, not a shower. Well, you know what? Now I want to check its multiplier to see if it was a grower or a shower. I mean, it opened to 33. It's at 104 after five weeks. I'd say it was a bit of a shower. What does it end up at? What's the Sorry, final what? total? What's the final? Uh, the final Domestic total, total for this film was one hundred and thirty-six, three hundred and four million dollars worldwide. Wow! Um, Is it li- live it action or animated? Live action. Oh, but with an asterisk. But there's a tone to the way I said that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What, what was the other thing you were about mm. to say about it? It was one of those things where I remember, even as it, I was what ten when it came out, I saw it in theaters with my family. Even as a kid, I knew like, oh well, this casting is a fucking grand slam. Like, was it Jumanji? Of course, no. Although, believe me, I was very excited for Jumanji. Yeah. So it really it was like this actor playing this role was just money in the bank. Interesting Correct. actress. Oh, uh, is it 101 Dalmatians? That's right. Yeah. See, this is what's weird. You're saying this is like the difference of like three years age between our ages. At, the, at this age, it's a big deal. Yeah. Have you guys seen the cut of 101 Dalmatians where Andy McDowell dubs over Glenn Close <laughs> as Corella DeVille? <laughs> it's weird. I got to get those dogs. I want those yeah. dogs. I got to have that skin. Puppies. <laughs> Furry. Puppy. Slobber. <laughs> See, see, the difference she, for me, David, is you were like that slam dunk Glenn Close as Corella right, DeVille. Right. And for me, in the following years, I was like, oh, it's nice to see Corella DeVille working. Like, this was my first impression <laughs> of Glenn Close. But, like, don't you think it's funny that me at 10 years old, and obviously I was a yeah. little nerd about movies, right. but even I knew through cultural osmosis, like, oh, well, Glenn Close famously great at playing, like, kind of scary people, like yes. scary ladies. Like, she's That's funny. She, fatal attraction, uh, uh, dangerous liaison. Like, she is the lady for, like, to play, I like, mean, an iron lady. I-, I remember feeling that way when I was, like, five years old and I saw the mm-hmm. VH. Chess cover for Popeye. I was like, they're two for two. Robin and Duvall. Oh my god! <laughs> it's fair. It's fair. Yeah. What a weird. We gotta talk about that movie. All right, we got him. A uh, Popeye. One right, okay. Yeah. One hundred. One question, Griff. You've seen one hundred one yes. Dalmatians. I have the remake. Does she die at the end? What happens to her at the end? Because in the animated film, it's really scary when she's driving, yeah. remember? And then the car goes over the bridge. And that that's is the last scary. you see of her. Oh, Very yeah. scary. No, she but goes I to jail remember. because there's a sequel. Right. 102 Dalmatians. Of course, right. I forgot there's a sequel. Uh, which which I, believe, I also saw. I believe it starts with a jailbreak. Yeah, well, there you go. That's I awesome. remember that Gerard Depardieu is in it. Absolutely, he is. Yeah. In 101, does she at some point like fall in, not tar, but like, I feel like she kind of gets right. like tarred and feathered in a way. There's, yeah. a, there's a sliming, which I feel like was right. just absolutely paramount in the 90s for a kid's movie. It's like <laughs> right, someone's right. got to get slimed. Some gross substance has to fall out of a bucket and onto the You got to get gooped. You gotta get good. Paul Giamatti and Big Little, what's it called? Oh, Big, Big Little Fat Liar. liar. Big, Big Fat, fat Liar. liar with the oh, mind. yeah. Oh, the blue. Home. Frankie oh, Muniz. No, All right. No, you're Number four. Of Fred Wars, Griffin. I'm uh, no, I'm joking. I'm combining the two. I'm combining yeah, no, no, the he's, two. He's, he's going off the Fred Wars. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, ben, number four at the box office. And I feel like for some reason, Griffin, we've discussed a lot of movies in this range because Mars mm. Attack is number eight. Wow. Uh, obviously, we've talked about Jerry Maguire. I feel like there's another movie coming up. Maybe like we've been in this area a lot. Number 96 four is holidays, a movie. big time for a tours. It had been number one the previous week. Ben, okay. I'm sure you were there in theaters. If so not, it's a big you were, drop. <laughs> big drop. Okay. I mean, it's actually only a 50% drop, but definitely front loaded. Is it a Steven Seagal film? No. I mean, I mm. just think that even at this age, Ben, you were like, I'm there. I don't know. Maybe you caught this on video. Action or comedy? Animated. Oh, animated. Oh, we've talked about this because it's so we weird that this came out at this time of year. It's so weird that it's a Christmas movie. Beavis and Butthead Take America. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, of course. Yeah. Comes out the weekend yeah. before Christmas. That so is weird. So that weird. Like, yeah. Jerry Maguire. I get it. Michael. I get it. Yeah. 101 Dalmatians. Absolutely. And then yeah. Beavis and Butthead do America, which is... Right, it's do America. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. And, uh-huh. and the number five movie, which has been out for two weeks, 
has made $21 million, but is going to hold so inc- extraordinarily well that it will make $103 million, despite opening wow. to only six. Is it a best picture play? Is it an Oscar play? No, it, but it's such a huge hit that there's a sequel the next year, even though it came out in December. Whoa. Mm. It's what one of those this? rare films where the sequel came out less than one year after the original. It's not Ace Ventura. Oh, like we were discussing. It's not a Jim Carrey. No. <clears throat> it's the revival of a genre. It's a crucial moment for a genre coming back. Oh, it's mm-hmm. Scream. It, 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 oh. Scream. Oh. Right, where Scream 2 comes out like 11 months later. Scream 2 came out 11 months later. Yeah, it's crazy. Legendary performance from fellow Pasadena, California resident Shaggy. Oh, Mike Zoinks. I'm the killer. Man, (laughs) them choosing Will Forte and Scoob over him is. It's rude. It's actually rude. I was about to say, like, this will come out later, but are we all pumped for Scoob? It's Scoob's opening day. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, is that today? (gasps) Oh. I got to do the Scoob, the TikTok dance. That's a real thing that's trending right now for some reason. Uh, here's what I'll say about Scoob. I am Wait. very excited for the fact that the existence of Scoob does not feel like it will prevent me from being able to sell my Scooby-Doo pitch one day. Hey, <sighs> Griffin, you're right. I have Griffin's a Scooby-Doo thing pitch. It's going to come and go. Yes. I have a Scooby-Doo pitch that I will tell you, Kevin, when we stop recording, that David got angry at how good it is. It's so good. It's also just so, it's just devastatingly It's money in the bank. Obvious. It's, it's, it's just money devastatingly <laughs> obvious. I'm not even yes. saying I'm some brilliant artist. No, you are brilliant, but it is also just the most commercial, like, oh, right. obvious pitch of yeah. all time. Wait, it's, is it, it they the take thing. down Harvey don't, Weinstein? Don't yeah, God damn it. It's called hashtag me Scoob. God damn it, Kevin. What? Yes, that's my pitch. It's called me Scoob. I don't know. I will say, Griff, I don't know if you know this, but I assume you do. I'm told that the movie is heavy on like world building and universe, Hanna-Barbera universe shit. That yes. like Dick Dastardly is in it. Yes. And the fucking... Dynama, Blue like, Falcon, Captain Caveman. Yeah, yeah. Like the, and the, Great the, like the Blue Falcon guy is like the lead character. Played by Mark Wahlberg. I, once Correct. again, I think all of this works in my favor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Because I just feel like people are going to be like, Absolutely no thanks. Please (laughs) try again. They were like, we want to do an animated cinematic universe. We want to treat it like Marvel and work as many different Hanna-Barbera characters into Scoob and then from there be able to make eight more films with different properties. Shared universes don't work. It's an origin story, but it's also a team-up movie. Don't don't try and cram a shared universe down my throat in like the first movie when I don't even know if I like them yet. Like, right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, get out of here. My Scooby-Doo pitch is clean. Scoob. 